Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Predatory Marketing 101. Today, we're talking about Grant Cardone and Damon John. You guys know him. He's the undercover billionaire guy, Shark Tank over here. And they are saying something disgusting that I want to talk about. I've been saying how the self-help industry has really gone south for a long time. But this illustrates my point better than I ever could. And it also proves something uh, which I want to talk about right now, which is that people are saying that Grant Cardone's changed. In my last video about Grant Cardone, they're saying he three three to five years ago he was legit, that he pushed more into real estate. I miss the old Grant, right? Oh, really? Well, this is him from 2017. So three years ago, back when he was legit. What was he saying then? Yeah. You're down, a guy's sitting there right now watching this, and I'm, I got my last Grant, dude, and I got Christmas coming. Should he spend it on this? Absolutely. What? These guys, these little sharks are selling, and it's an appropriate word, because they will eat you alive if they if you let them. They're selling a thousand dollar product that gets you Damon on demand, rise and grind by Damon John, and a 10x growth con ticket. And they're saying if you have a thousand dollars left to your name, bankrupt yourself to buy this product. Now I'm gonna, of course, tell you the obvious, which is that is insane advice. Look at these guys. They will sell anything. They they don't care who you are, how broke you are. All they care about is the numbers. I've been saying this. You guys say, hey, it's just a few bad apples in the industry. This is the industry. Where do you guys think I get this stuff from? They, Grant Cardone? He's like one of the biggest in this industry. Damon John, massive in this industry. Why are you guys pretending it's not the mainstream of this industry pushing this narrative? The sooner people call this out, the better. This offer today is $9.97, grantcardone.com. This is disgusting. It's like a shark. A guy's sitting there right now watching this and I'm, I got my last grand, dude, and I got Christmas coming. Should you spend it on this? Absolutely. I would tell you the same thing. This is unethical and it's gross. I'll tell you why. Because go ahead, Damon. the minute you learn this and you then go out and get a trademark instead of a patent that now saved you $20,000. <laughs> Look at this reach, Olympian level mind tricks. Th this guy literally just said, well, yeah, you're broke, right? You have $1,000 left to your name. You buy this. Why is it going to be worth it? Well, because when you go to get a patent versus a trademark, you're going to save $20,000. Hey, Damon, Earth to Damon. People who have $1,000 left aren't worried about a trademark versus a patent. You buffoon. They're worried about putting bread on their table. I know it's an, a foreign concept to rich people like you. You guys love to flex your wealth, but poor people don't have this luxury. What disgusts me about this industry is how they have no conception of people you should not sell to. Do you guys realize that if you sell get rich products, they will always be sold. Anybody poor is going to want to buy that product, right? Because it's like selling a cure for cancer. Oh, this magic bean has the cure for cancer last a thousand dollars. Of course, you're going to buy that magic bean for cancer. Same thing with get rich courses, which is why the way to be ethical in this industry is if, first of all, why would you have an a thousand dollar product? But okay, if you do want an a thousand dollar product, make it a premium product for people who are in that price range, right? Qualify your prospect. Don't just say if you have a thousand dollars left, it's relevant. It's not. They have bigger problems. And how dare you guys pitch this? How dare you? Or the minute you realize you weren't necessarily ready for distribution, you had to put a couple of things in order. Of course, they're not ready for distribution. They have a thousand dollars left to your name. Now, I want to point one final thing out, which is a good thing to know. There's two versions of this talk, the exact same talk. There's the one that Grant Cardone has on his YouTube channel. And there's the one that was re-uploaded by this guy right after the video. What's interesting, what I found to be very interesting, is that there's a slight difference between these two uh, videos. I don't know if you know that. Like something was cut out of this video, cut out of Grant's video. Let's check out and see what it is. A guy's sitting there right now watching this and I'm, I got my last Grant. Should he spend it on this? Oh, actually, did you notice there's a little cut there from here to here? Look at this cut. What could he possibly have cut out from this video? What could he feel like he didn't want people to see? Sitting there right now watching this and I'm, I got my last grand, dude, and I got Christmas coming. Oh. Sitting there right now watching this and I'm, I got my last grand. Should he spend it on this? Looks like he cut out the part where he said, and he's got Christmas coming up. I was wrong, guys. Maybe these guys do have a conscience. They felt bad about the part where they say, and he has Christmas coming up. They said, nah, that's a little too predatory. But the part where we tell a guy with $1,000 left to spend his money on our course, that's fine. 
But the part about Christmas, let's, let's clip that out. That's not such a good look for us. And people wonder why I rail against this industry. Obviously, guys, I, look, is it everybody in this industry that's bad? No. Look, sometimes I'm a little hyperbolic. It's not the whole industry. Of course not. Why I get so intense is because it is the people at the top. It is the Grant Cardone's that I'm talking about, guys. <laughs> you know? Like, if it were your small fries doing some, you know, shady things. Okay, I get it. Every industry has a few bad apples, like we call it. But this industry, the self-help industry, it's the people at the top that are the bad apples. I don't make you look bad. People say, Coffeezilla, Coffeezilla is always hating on us. I don't make you guys look bad. Grant Cardone is making you look bad. Damon John is making your industry look predatory. Not me. I'm just the messenger, baby. I'm just playing you back what they said, and I'm holding them to account. And look at this part, dude. In maybe the biggest feat of irony, they say this right here. You need to get something. It's about you. You can't help anybody. If it, and and I, we're not telling you to hurt people, though. <laughs> We're not telling you to be yeah. predatory. We're not telling you to do anything of that nature. Would you say that people should sell a growth con ticket? A, what is that? A glorified concert with a bunch of pitches from Grant's little team of little uh, pitchmen? Oh, and then Damon on demand. Are you going to tell them to charge that to the someone's last $1,000? Try to sell somebody on that? Would that be predatory? Guys, fix up your industry, okay? You complain about me. All these, all these gurus are like, CoffeeZilla is such a hater. Dude. If this stuff wasn't here, wouldn't be talking. So why don't you fix up your own industry? And then we'll start talking about how great this industry is. This is three years ago they were doing it, as you saw recently in the last video. Grant Cardone's up to his old treks. I don't know how you guys keep giving these people your money. If it were me, I wouldn't. Look, guys, it's my opinion. I wouldn't give these people my money. They want your last 1000 They'd take old Grand Grand's last 1000 if they could. You better believe it. <laughs> hey. That's where we're going to leave it. This is why this stuff has to stop. All right. I'll see you guys next time. I know what you need. This ain't what it seems. Nothing but a trick. Trying to sell me on a dream. But that was where you lost me. Wake up and smell the coffee.